the court finds that the state did violate the court's order and did take steps which were in direct contradiction of the court's order. No private litigant would take a court's order where they had been told to do something and say, well, I, I think I've got a better idea on how this should be done. And that's what the state did in this case. They took my order. I did not segregate COVID uh, voters and they changed and modified my order and they've added a step and a nuance and maybe even a chilling effect. It's not clear. The way that's done and has always been done is that you file a motion to modify, you file a motion to alter amend, you ask for a conference to discuss the remedy. And if you think you know a better way to do something, you come in with the motion and you ask the court and you give the other side an opportunity to have input on it. It's not just a practice, it's a rule. And it's followed daily by all attorneys and parties and litigants in this court. Shame on you for not following that procedure and just taking matters into your own hands. I'm calling the state out on that for not adhering to the standards of, of legal process. And what I'm now going to have to do to straighten it out is we're going to have to take down that form that they put together and we're going to issue a new form along the lines that we've discussed today. The court is not going to issue the sanctions. However, there always is the specter of criminal contempt if after today's orders, there's still non-compliance, disobedience, that's a route that the court can go. That concludes the court's ruling. This uh, matter is adjourned. <laughs>